back to school is right around the corner, but it looks pretty different than in other years. I'm Portia, the teen librarian at San Leandro Public Library, and today I'm going to go over some tips for setting up school at home, whether your desk is a desk or a kitchen table or even your bedroom floor. Stay tuned. <laughs> about you, but my workspace hasn't looked normal for a long time. Most days I work at the kitchen table, which has to get cleared off for mealtimes, of course. Maybe you've been going to school on your living room couch, or your bedroom floor, or at a table that you have to share with somebody else who's also going to school. It's a lot. To learn, we need to be able to show up with our brains, obviously. But we're not just brains. We also have hearts and bodies. Today we're going to work on learning how to set up a space that will allow all of you to show up. Brain, heart, and body. To take care of your mental needs, you'll probably need something to write with, something to write on, and any textbooks required for your classes. I like to keep a pouch filled with pens, pencils, I got post-it notes, and index cards in here, as well as a notebook for taking notes. As much as possible, you'd also want to keep your space clear. You don't want to be digging through bio and math homework when you're looking for your English notes. Keep it simple, keep it organized. And to take care of your physical needs, I like to have water, a snack, and any personal items that I might want. Chapstick, glasses, hair tie, something to fidget with, and headphones. Two notes about those last things. One, headphones are your friend. Your friend, your friend's friend, your teacher's friend. Headphones help you stay focused on what's happening in your Zoom classes. And two, bring something to fidget. For me, that's just a ballpoint clicky pen. Maybe you have a fidget spinner or a stress ball, but something that allows you to stay just a little bit physically active, even when you're having to stare at a screen for a long time. One more physical thing to pay attention to. How does your body feel at the end of your school day? I was working on my couch for two weeks straight and every day at the end of the workday, I felt like I was aching and in pain. So I moved back to the kitchen table. Pay attention and feel free to experiment. Is this the right space for you to be in? Do you need a pillow for your back? Did you need to grab three colors of highlighters before you get started? Make sure you have three colors of highlighter before you get started. Last but not least, it's important to try and create a space where you feel happy, or if happy is too much to shoot for, let's go for a calm. I like to make sure to include at least one personal item in my desk setup, whether it's a post-it note with an affirmation or a keepsake from a friend that makes me smile. Next week, we'll go into how you can build a preschool routine that will help you focus all day long. But for now, let's recap setting up your desk space. One. You need to take care of your brain, your body, and your heart in order to learn. Two, even when going to school means going to the kitchen table, you can set up a space that will help you focus. Three, pay attention and adapt your desk setup based on what's working and what's not. See you next week. <laughs>